So our great host, Vida Lucia, has a son, Giorgio DeFranco. And he's gonna, you know, entertain us with a good speech. And, you know, the speech is, is called, My Uncle Vinny is a banker. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> ladies, and, ladies and gentlemen, Giorgio DeFranco. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Fellow Toastmasters and very valued guests, so many guests, so many of you are here tonight to hear me talk about one of my favorite relatives, my Uncle Vinny. Now, let me just preface this by saying, unfortunately, sometimes people are judged not by their job description, but their job title. Let me take you back a couple of years. I was at a party with several of my friends. And we were talking amongst each other, and after a little while, somebody pointed out to the corner over there and said, who's that man? And one of my friends says, that's my Uncle Bob. Bob is a banker. If you need a loan, you go see Bob. All my friends were very impressed. They started singing his praises, saying, what a wonderful man. Pillar of the community, salt of the earth, well-dressed. About an hour later, somebody pointed to the other corner and said, who's that man over there? And I said, that's my Uncle Vinny. He also lends money. <laughs> and they asked, oh, is he a banker too? And I didn't know what to say at first, so I just said the truth. Uncle Vinny is a loan shark. <laughs> and everyone was gasping. He said, oh, that's terrible. It's horrible. He's a gangster, a criminal, a pinstripe suit. So, you know, this bothered me for quite a while. And as I went on in years, I, I thought about this. One of these men was praised for what he does, and the other was vilified. And you know what? They kind of, sort of, did the same thing. <laughs> Let me give you an example of what I mean. If you need a loan, you can go to the bank, and you can speak to Bob, and if you have the right collateral, like a house, well, Bob will give you a loan. And you can also go to my Uncle Vinny, and if you have the right collateral, say your kneecaps, <laughs> he will give you a loan. <laughs> That's why they call him Vinny the Kneecap. <laughs> now, you can see that this is kind of sort of the same thing. Now, at the end of the month, the banker will ask you to make a payment back called a mortgage payment. At the end of the month, my uncle Vinny will ask you to make a payment back. It's called Vigorish. <laughs> and as long as you pay the bank at the end of the month their mortgage payment, the bank will be happy. And as long as you pay Uncle Vinny his money at the end of the month, Uncle Vinny will be happy. So you see, they kind of sort of do the same thing. Now, if you go about a month without paying the bank, <laughs> Bob the banker is going to give you a phone call. You're going to come home at night, you're going to see the little red button on your telephone flashing, you're going to pick up the receiver, you're going to press the, the button on your phone, and it's going to say, you have one new message. Beep! Mm -hmm. Hello, Mr. Johnson, this is Bob the Banker. Just a gentle reminder that our records show your payment is slightly in arrears. Kindly remit at your earliest convenience, and remember, you are a valued customer. <laughs> and the new messages. Now, if you haven't paid my Uncle Vinny in a little over a month, at the end of the day, you're going to come home and you're going to see the little button on your phone flash. You're going to pick up the receiver, you're going to press the button, the button's going to say, you have one new message, beep. And you're going to hear my uncle Vinny's voice. He's going to say, yeah, it's me. You're freaky late. <laughs> Needs I remind you of the consequences that should befall you should you continue to be freaking late. <laughs> now I want you to get your rear at the club and talk to my guy and take care of the tank. You have freaking degenerate, <laughs> click, <laughs> end of freaking messages. <laughs> so you see, they kind of sort of do the same thing. Now, if you go about three months without paying the bank, they're going to have to take drastic action. 
They're going to send the two last guys you ever want to see at your doorstep. The bailiff and the repo man. Mm. And they're going to escort you out of your house, and they're going to nail a sign on your door that says foreclosure. And you're going to be spending the next little while living out of the back seat of your car. Now, if you go several months without paying Uncle Vinny, he's going to take drastic action. <laughs> he's going to send the last two guys you ever want to meet, Salvatore and Karma. <laughs> and they're going to show up at your house and they're going to escort you out of your house and they're going to nail a sign on your chest <laughs> that says, forget about it. <laughs> and you're going to be spending the next little while in the trunk of your car. <laughs> so you can see, they kind of, sort of, do the same thing. So now, when I'm at a party, and someone says to me, who's that man in the corner? I tell them the truth. I say, that's my Uncle Vinny. He's a banker. Kind of. Sort of. <laughs>